Welcome back to Torque Element, where we dive deep into the most exciting news in the world of Tesla and the future of electric mobility. Today we are going to talk about something truly fascinating because the Tesla Model 2 long-range version has finally been spotted and tested in Texas, and what we are learning about this car is blowing people away. Unlike the base version of the Model 2, which is all about keeping costs as low as possible while still giving you a sleek and aerodynamic design, the long-range version is being built with a different philosophy in mind. Instead of chasing maximum sleekness, the long-range model puts its focus on practicality, safety, and comfort. It is designed to prioritize interior space, especially for those front and rear seats, with an emphasis on comfort and visibility. That means drivers and passengers are not only getting an affordable car, but also one that feels far more versatile and livable every single day. Now, at the official launch event this November, we are probably only going to get an overview of both versions. The base model is expected to debut with a jaw-dropping starting price of around $15,990. Just let that sink in for a moment. An electric Tesla at a price tag that undercuts many small gasoline cars on the market today. But if you are someone who has been holding out for a more capable long-range version, something with extra practicality and more comfort built in, you will have to pay a little more. Early estimates suggest that the long-range version will cost around $20,000 to maybe $23,000. That is still unbelievably low compared to anything else in its class. The catch is that because demand is expected to be off the charts, you might not be able to place an order immediately after the event. Elon Musk himself has already warned that interest will be overwhelming, and Tesla is bracing for an avalanche of pre-orders. To handle that demand, Tesla is moving faster than ever before. They are officially deploying a gigantic 50,000-ton gigapress machine at the Texas factory, combining it with their patented unboxed production process. This is not just a small tweak to how cars are made, it is a revolution in manufacturing. Thanks to this process, Tesla can tighten production, slash costs, and speed up delivery in a way the auto industry has never seen before. And that raises the question, how exactly does the Tesla Model 2 Long Range deliver on practicality? And can this bold new production process really optimize costs enough to make the dream of a sub-$20,000 Tesla possible? At first glance, the base version and the long-range version might seem like siblings. But when you really look at them, it becomes clear they are almost two completely different cars. The base Model 2 looks like a sleek, rounded sedan with sporty lines, something aimed at people who want a dynamic driving experience. The long-range version, on the other hand, is going in a totally different direction. The prototype being tested shows a much taller body, higher ground clearance, an almost flat roofline and a shorter rear end. These features make it resemble more of a crossover than a sedan. It is not just about looking rugged either. These design cues reflect Tesla's new goal for the long-range version. Versatility, practicality and comfort above all else. Underneath the camouflage wrap, you can already notice that aerodynamics have taken a backseat to usability. The front end is wider and more squared off, with room for what appears to be a functional grille. Stickers and markings on the bumper show that both the headlights and the front bumper design have been completely rethought, giving the car a more trustworthy and robust appearance. This is Tesla telling the world, this version is not just about speed or sleek looks, it is about being a solid, dependable everyday vehicle for families, commuters and long-distance drivers. And here is where it gets exciting. If you pause for a moment and imagine yourself driving this car, you notice the little details that make a massive difference. The larger wheel gaps and rugged arches make the car feel sturdier. The windows are shorter horizontally but taller vertically, which opens up the cabin inside. The nearly flat roofline creates even more headroom, the taller rear end gives you more cargo space, and the squared off angles make the whole thing more versatile for whatever life throws at you. Now before we go deeper into performance and technology, let me take a quick pause. If you are enjoying this breakdown so far and want to keep getting the most in-depth Tesla updates anywhere on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our Torque Element family. We have already grown to over 2,000 passionate Tesla fans, and with your support we are just getting started. So hit subscribe right now because the next big Tesla story is always just around the corner and you will not want to miss it. Alright let us get back to the car. What shocks us most is how quickly Tesla managed to pivot. In just a short span of time, they have gone from sleek sedan prototypes to testing a rugged crossover version of the Model 2. 
It shows how unpredictable demand has become and how Tesla is smartly adjusting to meet it. Elon Musk even admitted that he could not fully predict how massive the wave of orders would be, and that is why Tesla has chosen the simplest, most efficient way to deliver quickly. Streamline the design, focus on comfort and space, and cut out everything unnecessary. Step inside the car and that philosophy becomes crystal clear. The interior is minimalist yet practical, stripped of anything excessive but carefully designed to maximize space. By removing the traditional engine bay, Tesla created a fully flat floor. That alone makes the cabin feel dramatically larger and more comfortable. The driver enjoys an incredible amount of legroom, while rear passengers also get a surprisingly generous stretch of space. For a compact hatchback segment, it feels unusually roomy. The seats are raised slightly higher than in the Model 3, making entry and exit easier for elderly drivers or passengers with limited mobility. The doors open wider, up to 90 degrees, making it a breeze to get in and out. These sound like small details but they add up to a big difference in everyday comfort. Tesla has even improved the seats themselves, layering them with a cushion material similar to memory foam for that soft, elastic feel on longer trips. The result is a budget car that does not actually feel budget at all when you are sitting inside it. Touch points are also thoughtfully chosen. The interior blends synthetic or genuine leather with soft-touch plastics and metallic trims, creating an understated sense of quality. Even the sound insulation has been upgraded. Tesla promises noise levels under 65 decibels, which is noticeably quieter than many gasoline cars in this price range. That means you can have normal conversations or listen to music without road noise intruding. Technology of course remains front and center. Tesla keeps the signature central touchscreen, somewhere between 12 and 15 inches depending on the final version. But in a rare nod to customer feedback, they are also adding a few physical knobs and buttons for essentials like climate control and audio. For many drivers, that simple change makes the car feel more user-friendly. There is also new ambient lighting that responds to driving modes or music, giving the cabin a lively and dynamic vibe. And do not overlook visibility. With a panoramic glass roof flooding the cabin with natural light, slim A-pillars that reduce blind spots and tall vertical windows, the Model 2 Long Range makes you feel safe and aware on the road. Storage is everywhere. Tesla has squeezed 20% more storage points into this model compared to the Model 3 or Model Y. Dual wireless chargers in the center console, multiple USB-C ports, and even a 12-volt outlet mean every passenger can stay connected and powered up. Now you might be thinking, if the car starts below $16,000, performance must have been sacrificed. But early tests suggest otherwise. Predictions indicate the long-range version could still deliver nearly 310 miles of range and sprint from 0 to 60 in just about 7 seconds. For a so-called budget car, that is astonishing performance. How is this possible? It all comes down to Tesla's battery innovations and the mighty Gigapress manufacturing system. While the world assumes Tesla is still leaning heavily on lithium-ion technology, rumors point to something more radical. Elon Musk is exploring aluminum-ion batteries for the Model 2. This could be a game-changer. Faster charging, cheaper production, and inherently safer chemistry. Analysts once assumed Tesla would use lithium-iron phosphate cells to keep costs low, but even that may not be cheap enough for Musk's ambitious goal. Aluminum ion could deliver better performance at a fraction of the cost, and the Model 2 might be the very first Tesla to use it. If true, this would mark the biggest leap yet in battery technology. The question everyone is asking is simple. How low can Tesla really push the price? Officially, the Model 2 is promised to start around $15,990. The long-range version is expected closer to twenty dollars to $23,000. But thanks to that gigantic 50,000-ton gigapress, Tesla has the chance to cut production costs even further. This machine can cast the car's underbody in a single press, replacing hundreds of individual parts with just one massive component. That means less labor, less waste, and fewer chances for error. To put it in perspective, traditional production methods would see material and labor costs eat up around 60% of the car's price. For a $16,000 vehicle, that could be nearly $10,000. With the Gigapress, those costs could drop by 30 to 
bringing total production costs closer to just over $6,000. That leaves Tesla with a choice, keep the price low and lock in healthy profits, or slash the sticker price even further and shock the market. Elon Musk has even teased the idea of a car being produced in less than 5 seconds using these machines. Imagine that, every 5 seconds another Tesla rolling off the line. This level of efficiency is unheard of in the industry. Tesla has already used smaller Giga presses for the Model Y and the Cybertruck, but the leap to 50,000 tons is unprecedented. It allows not just speed but simplicity. The Model 2 is designed with only about 80 structural parts compared to more than 200 in the Model Y. That is more than a 60% reduction in complexity. The result is faster assembly, fewer errors and lower costs. The roadmap is clear. Tesla wants mass production of the Model 2 by the third quarter of 2025 at the Texas Gigafactory. Initial deliveries in the United States will start late in that year, focusing on major states like California, Texas, and Florida. The first year could see around 150,000 units delivered, ramping up every quarter after that. Europe and China will follow in early 2026, with localized production to cut down shipping and taxes. And here is something futuristic. Tesla is planning to test self-driving home deliveries, where your car literally drives itself from the factory to your doorstep. That is the Tesla spirit, pushing boundaries even in how you receive your car. So here is the real question for you. With everything we now know about the Tesla Model 2 long range, its comfort, its battery innovations, its cutting-edge production, and its unbelievable price point, will you place your order the moment the event opens, or will you wait until 2026 when production is even more mature? Drop your thoughts in the comments because this is one of the most important cars Tesla has ever made and your opinion matters. If you enjoyed this deep dive, remember to hit like, share this with your friends and stay locked in with Torque Element. We have already grown to a family of 2000 Tesla fans, and every single one of you is part of building this exciting community. With more updates coming every week, you will not want to miss what is next. So stick with us because the Tesla revolution is only just beginning.